Welcome back to Tech Rants. My name is Q, and today I'm going to be giving you my review on T-Mobile. That's right. Stay tuned. Before we get started, if you like the content, please consider leaving a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you guys have T-Mobile? And if do you don't, leave your carrier in the comments below. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Share, tell your friends, all the other good stuff. Uh, and if you really, really love the content, please consider making a donation via Cash App at dollar sign the Tech Ranch Show. That's dollar sign T H E T E C H R A N T S S H O W. Donations are not required, but are greatly appreciated. All right. So um, I've been using T-Mobile for almost about a year at this point and uh, well actually over uh almost three years sorry it's been two and a half years exactly and i gotta say uh it's been pretty good now before we get started i do want to also mention i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video i did get some ear pods i got the ear pod pros i'm going to be doing a review on these i didn't do an unboxing but i will be doing a review because i've been putting them through the paces been using them at the gym and you know so far I'm going to have to eat my words, but, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, I have my opinions on them, and, you know, I've been putting them through their paces. Like I said, if they can hang with me at the gym, these are definitely a worthy companion. You know, of course, they're good talking on the phone, but like I said, we have reviews coming up. Yeah, see, I have a look with them. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cute. But anyway, so stay tuned for these for review coming up, and I don't know, it might be this week, it might be next week. I don't know. I still have a couple of days left of the gym. Oops. I think I almost broke one. I still have a couple of days left of the gym. So, uh, but yeah. So, yeah. AirPod Pros. I know. The guy that said he would never buy earbuds. I'm doing a lot of stuff I said I would never do, but it is what it is. But that's besides the point. Um, so, T Mobile. <sighs> to me, T Mobile, to me, has been. And about to tell about to tell myself about to probably make myself look bad, but it is what it is. T Mobile is like that one, you know, that one partner that you have that, you know, she always takes you back. She gives you a second chance, or he gives you, you know, whoever whoever you with, they give you a second chance, you know, even when you mess up. So basically, long story short. I basically was a carrier whore. That's the best way to put it. I was with everybody. I was with Sprint, Boost Mobile, Cricket, AT&T, Verizon. I was with everybody. And T-Mobile, I left them on a bad term. I left with a balance, but I came back. And they basically gave me a second chance. I proved myself, and I could pretty much you know, get whatever I want on my account. So I've been back with T-Mobile since June of 2020. Uh, right when, the, you know, kind of beginning of the pandemic and I've been with them for two years. I got four, uh, almost two and a half, uh, two and a half years, actually been with them for two and a half years, almost three, I have four lines on my account, two personals, uh, well, a uh, personal of work, uh, two and two family members. And, uh, so without all the devices on my account, cause I can't count that all the devices on my account, um, I'm probably paying if if I didn't have all the devices, uh, I have two, I have four lines with home internet. Uh, now that I'm on a promotion, I have the essentials plan. So I have the four lines for a hundred bucks right now. I would be probably about one sixty five. So yeah, give or take about one sixty five. And you know, that's like I said, minus the devices, 165 taxes, because I have two, four lines, I have home internet, and then you add in taxes and fees and stuff about that, about 165. So that's not bad uh, for four lines of service. So, you, you know, you take away the home internet line, I'll probably about 116, 120, because uh, I do auto pay. And yeah, so uh, yeah, if you, if you haven't taken advantage of the four lines for 100, I would suggest you take advantage if they still have it. But yeah, four lines. 100 bucks, but of course, when I started off, I started off with the Magenta, but I realized I didn't really need that, and I was trying to cut costs, because I was pretty much poor, still am poor, but <laughs> I was at the bottom, way at the bottom, way better, way worse than I was now, so I cut it down, did the essentials, and then it was me and my brother, 
Then I added someone else and someone else. So, you know, four lines before I was paying 120 So T-Mobile has the, they have the T-Mobile Essentials, which is 60 bucks for one line, $65 without. The Magenta, which is 75 without auto pay, 70 with. And the Magenta Max, which is $90 without, 9, 80, 85 with. Now, I can't get into specifics of the Magenta plan and Magenta Max because I know that, you know, prices change daily uh so i don't know about the family plans and i've had the magenta plan before i've had the essentials plan I've never had the magenta max now with the magenta you get 100 gigs now of deprioritized data uh, pri well, 100 gigs of data before you, uh prioritized data before you deprioritize and uh after that 100 gigs you are you know when the network is congested you're slowed down you also have five gigs of mobile hotspot and yeah, uh, Netflix included, uh, limited Wi-Fi and GoGo flights and stuff like that. Uh, the Magenta Max gives you, you you have always, you always have prioritized data. You have, I think it's 40 or 50 gigs of mobile hotspot. Uh, Netflix, the you have the more premium plan for Netflix. You have a, you have a lot of features. Uh, you know, I, I can't think of the specifics. I will post a link to T-Mobile down below so you guys can look. But with the Essentials plan, you just get the basics. Unlimited talk, text, data. Uh, you can use your phone in Canada, Mexico. You can text and talk when you're abroad. You know, just uh, unlimited texting and uh, things like 25 cents uh, when you make a call home. So whatever. It's pretty good. Um, and I will tell you this. So you only get 50 gigs of prioritized data. But it also says uh, those that are using uh, more than 50 gigs plus... Or on the magenta, I mean, on the uh, essentials plan, will experience slower speeds when network is congested. So, I've been on the essentials plan, and in the month, uh, by myself, I have used 126 gigs, and I have not had any issues. I mean, yeah, I have seen when the network is congested, but for the most part, I don't have any issues. Now, of course, now that that, that particular time, that was just to push it. Uh, now on my account, my uh, you know, I do use probably close to 100 gigs a month, but you know, that's with, um, but you know, well, my brother has home internet in his house, so that actually makes us use way more. But you know, by myself, I probably use close to 100 gigs, uh, that's between two lines, and you know, but I'm always on the move, I'm, I'm constantly, you know, when I'm in the gym, I'm, I'm playing music from my ear pods, I'm streaming over data, things like that, so. You know, it can handle the traffic. Uh, and keep in mind, all these are my personal experiences. You may have had a worse experience or you may have had a, you know, may, oh, you may have had a better experience. I don't know. But for what I use T-Mobile for. Oh, my gosh. I'm not talking to you. Sorry about that. That was a lot. Thank you. Uh, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, so for what I use T-Mobile for, you know. Call quality is, is excellent. I You know, a lot of people say Timo has the worst call quality. I actually think that they have the best call quality. I haven't had any problem with messages. Haven't had any data problems. You know, it works wherever I go. I haven't had any major issues. It's been pretty good. Um, customer service. I used to praise, if you look at some of my older videos, I used to praise T-Mobile's customer service, but they're no longer 24 hours. And sometimes I can't always get my team of experts, but I understand COVID is still here, whether we like it or not. You know, we're still kind of in a depression and recession and things like that. It's, it's, it's bad right now. So, uh, you know, things ain't like it used to be. But, you know, anytime I've ever called customer service and had a question, uh, all of my problems have seemed to be handled. Uh, so th th there's that. And like I said, the service has just been pretty good. Um, you know, call quality is great. Data is great. Uh, customer service seems to be pretty good. Overall, you know, pricing, of course, I got a terrific plan. Like I said, I know I don't have Hotspot. I don't have Netflix and all and I, that. That's okay. I don't need all that. I, you know, I can pay for my own Netflix. I just need the basics, unlimited talk, text, and data. And if you want to give it to us four lines for 100 bucks, hey, I'm all for that. So, you know, it, it is what it is. So, overall, at this point, Google Pixel, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I was like, my Pixel lit up. Uh, overall, T-Mobile, uh, definitely pricing gets a 10 out of 10. 
coverage it gets an uh, eight and a half out of ten it's you know of course you go in some areas it just doesn't work um call qualities 10 out of 10 customer service they get a they get a nine now because they they used to be 24 hours when they were 24 hours customer service always, always got a 10 uh and what i recommend t-mobile to someone um now as far as to my subscribers and my viewers and stuff like that it's hard for me to recommend t-mobile to you guys because everybody lives somewhere different uh, I would say check your carry, uh, check your website, uh, check the website, you know, check your location and uh, see if they have good service in your area. Uh, and, you know, everybody has just going to have a different experience. Now, to my people like here in my area around Ohio, I think you guys will be fine. I mean, you know, I would definitely test it out. But like I said, my experience will not be your experience and your experience won't be my experience. But overall, T-Mobile really good carrier i haven't had any issues i've been with them two and a half years i don't see myself switching i thought about switching before you know a couple of things that you know kind of pissed me off but you know overall i think t-mobile is a terrific carrier i'm waiting for them to improve i know a lot of people you know they're kind of the underdogs but i think that they can do it i think if they really push they can overtake maybe at&t i don't they will never i can't say they will never t overtake verizon but the way things are going right now, I don't see them overtaking Verizon at all. Um, I can see them becoming number two because AT&T, uh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, overall, T-Mobile, good carrier. I would stay with them, you know, continue to stay with them. And, you know, if if I ever decide to leave or if things started going downhill, you guys know me. I was a big Boost Mobile fan. And uh, when Boost Mobile started to deteriorate, hey. I told you guys, and I moved around, and I did what I had to do. I told you Cricket was good. A lot of people bash Cricket. I actually had a really good experience on Cricket. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, overall, my team mobile experience has been pretty good. I will continue to monitor it, and if anything changes, I will let you guys know. Uh, sorry I don't have all the facts uh, together, but I will post a link for T-Mobile down in the description below. You can check out the pricing and plans. Uh, you know, like I said, just figure out which works best for you, figure out your needs. And if you just need the basics, go with the essentials. If you feel like you're going to be out and about, I feel like, I personally feel like people that travel a lot, yeah, especially outside of the country and maybe truck drivers should maybe consider the Magenta or the Magenta Max because you do get the Netflix so you get more entertainment and you always get prioritized data. Uh, you know, you know, or you get a little more flexibility and you can use hotspot, you know, especially truck drivers are out there and things like that. But if you're just basic and you just, you know what you need and you don't, you got Wi-Fi all the time. Um, and especially now if you can get the four lines for a hundred bucks, go with the essentials. That's just my personal opinion. But hey, do what's best for you. Check out the links in the description below. Uh, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, share all the other good stuff. Cash app is in the beginning of the video and will be in the description as well. Catch you guys on the next one. Please be safe. Be blessed. Peace.